what I think this foot enables you to do is to live life more fully. So, for example, I can walk my dogs, I can walk over the stepping stones of a river, I can jump from rock to rock in this foot, which is something I haven't been able to do. I can go fast downstairs under control. So you feel less tired, you're able to do more. The Elite VT Foot from Blatchford is designed to help people achieve a higher level of activity. Body weight will compress springs at toe and heel and also it will compress a high-grade steel spring inside the ankle. Uh, I lost my lower right arm and leg um, 13 years ago. After I'd left the army I worked for a charity clearing landmines in Asia and Africa and I was one day walking back up uh, a cleared lane, a safety lane where all the landmines had been removed but there was one that the guys couldn't actually find. Uh, I was very lucky to live and uh, I did my first marathon less than a year after leaving hospital so I, I was fortunate I recovered very quickly. I choose to have um, an aspiration which is to run ultra distance races of which I do quite a lot um, at the age of 73 so I need to really look after myself so I think it's also very important to understand the long-term effects of activity. The gait analysis allows us to study the, the movement of the human body as it you know, interacts dynamically with the environment. The measurements that you can see here actually represent the, the forces generated under the foot. And these are created by the way the body moves. The body mass accelerates as somebody walks along the ground. The Elite VT is based on research and measurement on high levels of foot activity. The E-carbon spring heel can compress when loaded by heel contact with the ground and will release energy as weight is transferred to the toe. As that happens, the advanced carbon composite split toe spring will compress and at toe off will release its energy. The third element in the design is a spring in the ankle that will absorb downward bearing loads and will assist propulsion in upward movement. What I noticed firstly when I put the foot on was it was easier to walk than the other prosthetic that I was using. So walking was less effort, it was smoother. You actually get a heel toe action. It reminds me of what I remember it used to be like to have a heel. As the heel hits the ground, the heel spring compresses. As weight transfers forward to mid stance, the heel spring extends. The axial spring tracks the ground reaction forces and assists knee extension as the toe springs release energy for active toe off. During running, the heel, axial spring and toe are loaded about a single peak for a powerful response. The axial rotation in the pylon ensures that shear forces are cushioned throughout the cycle. In a fixed foot, a natural twisting movement puts all the stress into the back. With the Elite VT, some of that movement is accommodated and supported by sprung rotation in the ankle. Okay, the I'm most about the stage, the fact that it allows the knee to move without the foot moving as well, which is really good. What's actually happening is as I'm twisting, the knee's moving to one side. But the good thing I like about the Elite V2 is that it allows me to use more muscles. Like I'm using this cross trainer, and previously my knee will be always, sorry, my heel will be always coming up. But this allows, this stabilizes my heel, allows me to use more muscles, which I've not used before. Hopefully, I'll be keeping this. Legs, it's elite BT, and I won't be getting it back. <laughs>